here we go. This is what we'll end on. It's a very common question. I feel like actors get a lot, but I okay. want to know your answer. Okay. If, if you, you could, could ask, ask, you do instead. Ooh. <laughs> That's a great answer. Think about it. I think that's an amazing answer. I think that's a great profession. I think a lot of people would agree that's something they'd want to do too. <laughs> okay, direct. Direct. I love that. Yes. yes. Which you will do on top of acting. Exactly. I love that. And you too. Now directing. We both directed our own shorts. Yours just premiered recently to standing ovations. Everyone loved it. I love it. I've seen it. Do you want to talk a little bit about your short, um, what your future is with the short and your future as a director and what your aspirations are and where the inspiration from your film? Basically just riff a little bit on your directing stuff for me. Wow. Okay. Well, are you going to do the same after? Huh? Are you going to do the same after about your... No? They already heard enough about my directing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, I my short, oh my god, like, it's a very, very, very personal story. It was shot entirely in Sicily. It was shot also partially on film, so it was like a project. As a first short, I was like, I'm gonna go all out, and I am very proud of it. I, I feel like aspiration, I would love, it was so fun to direct, and I feel like we not even... I love working with that with my teachers. It was so fulfilling and it was like an exercise I did for muscle. And then for the future, I would love to get my first directing gig on our show just because I feel like it's such a safe environment and it will be an amazing opportunity to get build extra confidence with a crew and a cast that we know and love. Uh, even though working with a cast that you know so well could be challenging because people could take you could not take you really seriously because you're their castmate. Uh, but the challenge that I would be willing to take on being already. Okay. Don't tell me anything. Unless okay. what is it spoiling? Is it spoiling my is something to do with directing? Yeah. They know that I'm directing this season. Yeah, <laughs> I think if anyone follows me on my page, they know I'm directing. So they know I'm directing this season. How do you feel about that? Uh, I'm, I'm so excited. It's getting closer and closer, which is making me a little more nervous. But um, uh, you know me, I'm going to be overly, 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 overly prepared. I think my biggest issue is just going to be having to let it go when I get to set. Yep, <laughs> I'll have my iPad. <laughs> um and so I think my biggest, my biggest issue will be making sure I let things go because as you know, nothing goes as planned when you come to set, you know, mm -hmm. actors want to play things differently, lines get changed. And so that's going to be my biggest hurdle is like being open to the fact that it's not going to be exactly how they planned it in my head, but I'm excited for you to direct on station 19. I'm putting it out there. I know it's going to happen. I can't wait for the world to see your short. I think it's beautiful and you did an absolute excellent job with it. Um, yeah. Of course, I feel like we worked so hard on it, and yeah, but we should yeah. be very. Yeah, you should as well. I think I heard that right. I think you cut out, but I think I'm, what I'm saying is you should be proud of yourself as well. Yeah, bloody internet. I actually said it like we should be very proud of ourselves. There we go. And we should be. We've been through a lot with those short films.